Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Today we're checking out Black Adder Insults compilation. Now, you guys have been asking me to check out the show for a while, but since uh, my slots are all full with the shows I'm checking out already, um, I haven't had a chance to like get around to this yet. And I didn't necessarily want to check out a compilation because I didn't want it to ruin the show for me. But a few people in the comments have said that it won't ruin the show for me. This compilation won't because there's so much funny stuff that goes on in the show. There's no way the compilation they've been recommending will ruin it. And I got recommended three different compilations. And this is um, one of the top ones. So, I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, I get all the jokes. Because another thing that seems to follow these comments is that you have to have a, a really good understanding of history and everything. And I have, I mean, a basic understanding of history. So, I did go to the Gary Public School System. So, it's just, it's a bit limited. So, hopefully, I get all the jokes in this. We'll see. If it's, and maybe they weren't talking about the compilation, maybe they're just talking about the show in general, that I won't like it unless I have a decent understanding of history. So, let's hope the compilation is a little bit easier on me. So, let's go on and jump into it, and we'll talk about it in the end. Actually, of course it is. You see, you know they say that somewhere there's a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> well, I thought if I owned the bullet with my name on it, oh my I'd God. never get hit by it. Because <laughs> I won't ever shoot myself. Oh, no shame. And the chances of there being two bullets with my name on them are very small indeed. Yes. It's not the only thing around here that's very small indeed. <laughs> Your brain, for example, is so minute, Baldrick, that if a hungry cannibal cracked your head open, there wouldn't be enough inside to cover a small water biscuit. <laughs> Cold blooded. It is strangely in keeping with the manner of our courtship that your maid of honour should be a man. Thank you very much, my lord. Well, I use the word man in its broadest possible sense. <laughs> for as we all know, God made man in his own image. It'd be a sad lookout for Christians throughout the globe if God looked anything like you, Baldrick. <laughs> Ignore old Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> there you are, boulders. <laughs> you look sweet as a little pie. Kate, he looks like what he is, a dung ball in a dress. <laughs> no blood it. It's the worst plan since Abraham Lincoln said, oh, I'm sick of kicking around the house tonight. Let's go take in a show. <laughs> For a start, General Melchett is in mourning for the woman of his dreams. That's He's really unlikely good. to be in the mood to marry a two-legged badger wrapped in a curtain. <laughs> Secondly, we are looking for a great entertainer. And you're the worst entertainer since St. Paul the Evangelist toured Palestine with his trampoline act. <laughs> now we'll have to find somebody else. That one went over. I'm going to do this when it goes over. I had to look that Perhaps one Perhaps you'd like me to lend a hand, Black Adam. I'm not as stupid as I look. I am as stupid as I look, sir. <laughs> but if I can help, I will. Well, it's very kind of you both, uh, but I fear your services might be as useful as a barber's shop on the steps of the guillotine. <laughs> oh, Blackadder, give us a try. <laughs> ah, now, now, this is interesting. What is? Well, Private Baldrick is obviously a bit of an impressionist. The only decent impression he can do is of a man with no talent. <laughs> What's it called, Baldrick? The Vomiting Cavalier? <laughs> This place sticks like a pair of armoured trousers after the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> Baldrick, have you been eating dung again? Sir, some people seem to think that I was best. Would you agree? Baldrick, in the Amazonian rainforests, there are tribes of Indians as yet untouched by civilization who have developed more convincing Charlie Chaplin impressions than yours. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I have a a cunning deep. plans. <laughs> Hurrah! Well, that's that then. I wouldn't get overexcited, sir. <laughs> I have a horrid suspicion that Baldrick's plan will be the stupidest thing we've heard. Since Lord Nelson's famous signal at the Battle of the Nile, England knows Lady Hamilton is a virgin, poke my eye out and cut off my arm if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, great! Let's hear it, then. 
miss that one too. Okay, dig out your best booze and let's talk about me till the car comes. <laughs> yeah, I must be pretty impressed having Squadron Commander the Lord Flashheart drop in on your squally bit of line. Actually, no. I was more impressed by the contents of my handkerchief the last time I blew my nose. <laughs> yeah, like how. <laughs> You've probably got little pickers of me on the walls of your dugout, haven't you? <laughs> I bet you get all girly and giggly every time you... <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the infantry think you're a prat. <laughs> Ask them who they'd prefer to meet. Squadron Commander Flashheart and the man who cleans out the public toilets in Aberdeen. And they go for wee jock Poopong McPlop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. the malingering git. Oh, Cap! Pip, pip, Balders, here I lie. Nice to see the lieutenant looking so well, sir. Of course he's looking well. There's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that Captain was a super cove? You did. Well, Captain, you are indeed fortunate to have a loyal friend like darling Georgie. Mm, I think you might be under a slight misapprehension here, nurse. I lost closer friends than darling Georgie the last time I was deloused. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got better things to do than exchange pleasantries with a wet blanket. Would you get out? <laughs> Sir, I have been unable to replace the dictionary. I am therefore leaving immediately for Nepal, where I intend to live as a goat. <laughs> Because if I stay here, Dr. Johnson's companions will have me brutally murdered, sir. Good God, Blackadder, that's terrible. Do you know any other butlers? <laughs> and, of course, when the people discover that you have burnt Dr. Johnson's dictionary, they may go around saying, look, there's Thick George. He's got a brain the size of a weasel's wedding tackle. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I, I was... I, well, I was hopeless. I mean, tell me honestly, sir, I was, wasn't I? Well... No, no, come on, sir, get up with it, because I need to know, really, I was hopeless. No, well, No, you're trying just... to be nice, and that's very sweet of you, sir, but please, come on, I can take it, I was hopeless. George, you were bloody awful. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't argue with the box office. Personally, I thought you were the least convincing female impressionist since Tarzan went through Jane's handbag and ate her lipstick. <laughs> Leave me alone, Baldrick. If I'd wanted to talk to a vegetable, I'd have bought one at the market. <laughs> Don't you want this message? No, oh, thank you. God, I'm wasted here. It's no life for a man of noble blood being servant to a master with the intellect of a jugged walrus and all the social graces of a potty. <laughs> Oh, let me put it another way, Bob. You are a girl, and you're a girl with as much talent for disguise as a giraffe in dark glasses trying to get into a polar bears only golf club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has some clever wit, man. That's clever. I want to see how a war is fought so badly. Well, you've come to the right place, Bob. <laughs> The war hasn't been fought this badly since Olaf the Hairy, High Chief of all the Vikings, accidentally ordered 80,000 battle helmets with the horns on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What has this fellow done, apart from pop over to France to grab a few French knobs from the ineffectual clutches of some malnourished, whinging lefties, Taking the opportunity while there, no doubt, to pick up some really good cheap wine and some of their marvellous open fruit flan. <laughs> now, does anyone know we hate the French? We fight wars against them. Did all those men die in vain on the field of Agincourt? Was the man who burnt Joan of Arc simply wasting good matches? <laughs> Monsieur, why do you waste your words on this scum? Have no fear. This Scarlet Pimpernel will save us. Ha! Some hope. <laughs> the Pimpernel is the most overrated human being since Judas Iscariot won the AD 31 Best Disciple competition. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, who are they electing when they have these elections? Oh, the same old Shah. 
fat Tory landowners who get made MPs when they reach a certain weight, raving revolutionaries who think that just because they do a day's work that somehow gives them the right to get paid. Basically, it's a right old mess. Toffs at the top, plebs at the bottom, and me in the middle making a fat pile of cash out of bone. Well, you've got to watch out, Mr Blackadder. Things are bound to change. Not while Pitt the Elder's Prime Minister, they aren't. He's about as effective as a cat flap in an elephant house. <laughs> as long as his feet are warm and he gets a nice cup of milky tea in the sun before his morning nap, he doesn't bother anyone until his potty needs emptying. <laughs> costume in 40 gallons of coconut oil. Are you going abroad then, sir? Yes, I'm off. Oh, sir, what a tragic end to all my dreams. And I'd always hope that you'd settle down and marry me and that together we might await that sliver of tiny adders. Oh. Mrs. M, if we were the last three humans on Earth, I'd be trying to start a family with boring. <laughs> Cold blooded. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna drink anything. But if you don't mind, I'd rather have my tongue beaten wafer thin by a steak tenderizer, <laughs> and then stapled to the floor with a croquet hoop. You look smart, Mr. Blackadder. Going somewhere nice? No, I'm off to the theatre. Well, don't you like it then? No, I don't. A lot of stupid actors strutting around, shouting with their chests thrust out so far, you'd think their nipples were attached to a pair of charging elephants. <laughs> what are you wearing round your neck? Ah, it's my new ruff. You look like a bird who swallowed a plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latest fashion, actually, and as a matter of fact, it makes me look rather sexy. To another plate-swallowing bird, <laughs> if it was blind and hadn't had it in months. <laughs> I think you may be wrong. You're a sad, laughable figure, aren't you, Bruce? My lord. The eyes are open, the mouth moves, but Mr. Brain has long since departed, hasn't he, Bruce? I must say, Edmund, it was jolly nice of you to ask me to share your breakfast before the rigours of the day begin. <laughs> well, it is said, Percy, that civilised man seeks out good and intelligent company, so that through learned discourse he may rise above the savage and closer to God. Yes, I've heard that. Personally, however, I like to start the day with a total dickhead. Remind me I'm best. <laughs> Percy, you are dismissed from my service. <laughs> me? What? Because, Percy... Far from being a fit consort for a prince of the realm, you would bore the leggings off a village idiot. You ride a horse rather less well than another horse would. Your brain would make a grain of sand look large and ungainly. And the part of you that can't be mentioned, I'm reliably informed by women around the court, wouldn't be worth mentioning even if it could be. <laughs> if you put on a floppy hat and a furry codpiece, you might just get by as a fool. But since you wouldn't know a joke if it got up and gave you a haircut, I doubt it. That is why you're dismissed. Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. <laughs> you related to that dude. magnificent men read biggest show-offs since Lady Godiva entered the royal enclosure at Ascot claiming she had literally nothing to wear. <laughs> I don't care how many times they go up diddly up up, they're still gits. You fancy an evening at a concert party, Blackadder? Well, frankly, sir, I'd rather spend an evening on top of a stepladder in no man's land, smoking endless cigarettes through a luminous balaclava. <laughs> yes, I didn't think it would be quite your cup of tea. Well, because if you are cheesed off, sir, you know what would cheer you up? And that's a Charlie Chaplin film. Oh, I love old chappers. Don't you, Cap? Unfortunately, no, I don't. I find this film's about as funny as getting an arrow through the neck and then discovering there's a gas bill tied to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 and while we're 
out, Baldrick. I want you to give this palace a good clean. It's so dirty, it'll be unacceptable to a dung beetle that had lost interest in its career and really let itself go. Is it? Cool, cool, man. I enjoyed that. Some of the jokes I missed, so I guess I didn't pass the, uh, the intelligence test that you guys put in the comments, so I'm sorry. <laughs> a couple of them went over my head. Um, but for the most part, I got I got a lot of them. He's really harsh, man. I guess his primary um, thing is just calling people stupid. At the end of the day, it's just a real a bunch of fancy ways to call people dumb. So, but really funny, really clever. I don't know what else is. Um, don't really know what the show is about because it seems to like jump timelines. So I would like to know. I'm not sure what the 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 show format is. I thought it was just like a like a sitcom, like about like just. W one character in, in like a war or something because the the clips you guys have sent me the thumbnails is using him like in a green uniform so i thought it all took place in those times the clips i've seen um and other clips that i've seen with the thumbnails with him like wearing like these type of clothes like the old school clothes and stuff from um i don't know whatever the times were like i thought like maybe he was just like dressing up for a play or something like that i didn't really put too many pieces together so i'm curious about what's going like what is going on with the show now that I'm watching it, how it's bouncing around. I'm probably going to go on Wikipedia and read and see, um, I mean, what the whole, what the whole deal is. But I did enjoy this. There, there, it was funny. It's just essentially a almost 15 minute video of him calling people dumb, which is always funny. All right. All right, guys, that is all for this one, man. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.